Hi, Cancer, getting ready to do your reading. This is for mid-May to the end of May. All right. I'm going to ask the universe for guide, guidance. Ask my guides in the universe for messages for Cancer. All right, Cancer. All right. All right, you have the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, but it is in reverse, the Seven of Cups, and then the Strength reverse. Okay. Could be wondering and worrying about someone. Their behavior may be a little erratic with the Knight of Swords, possibly. They might be an air sign. Could be a Leo, but I feel like you... I feel like you've been worried about this person for so long or worried about the relationship that now you just lost all strength with, with the Strength card in reverse. Yeah, page of coin and then the fool. Five of coins in reverse and the seven of wands. Interesting. Okay, the um, I was gonna say Aries, but the emperor is under the deck just to just to see. Okay, so it's kind of like making a decision. So I'm seeing you being tired of a relationship here. Probably love this person, but it's been very stressful. Communication is coming in probably from an earth sign. Um, but and this person has left you out in the cold. So you're feeling lonely. You're feeling sad. By maybe going out with this person, maybe just, you know, casually having some fun, it'd be fun. Five of Coins is now in reverse. So if someone is interested in you, and you may go with Seven of Wands. You may de defend your actions if someone were to say, you know, I don't feel like you're going to need to. But it's kind of like you're thinking, you know what, I'm tired of being out in the cold. I'm tired of worrying about this relationship. I'm, you know, overwhelmed, confused. So why not? Why not just go out with one date for this other person, get to know them, see what they're about. That's what I'm seeing clearly in this reading for you cancer so coming in here toward the end of the month you might know this person you may not so let me see what they're saying right now okay so stay optimistic about your love life is one card you do one more <clears throat> and express your love all right go ahead and make the romantic gesture i feel like this is saying go ahead and you know go go out and meet this person you may have fun. I'm kind of feeling overall, though, you may not really love this person. I don't know. We'll see what shows up in the reading. Because I kind of feel like you don't necessarily want to date someone new. You love this other person, but you're just kind of, you're tired. Not kind of, you are tired. All right, so what's the Knight of Swords energy? Oh, Ace of Wands. So this might perk this person up. Okay, I don't think that's why you're going out with them, though. I don't think it's too make them jealous. I don't get any of that. I think it was just something comes up. Maybe it's, maybe it's even a group of friends or something, but Ace of Wands now. Let's see. What is this Ace of Wands though? Oh, the Ten of Cups. Okay. Because maybe the Ace of Wands is something else they're doing, something else they're interested in, but this Ten of Cups may be you. So let's see. Nine of Swords. The Star. So you are worried about this relationship, but yet you have hope with the Star Upright. We have two of wands in reverse. So again, wondering what they're thinking, seven of cups, being a little overwhelmed. So instead of sitting around thinking, what should you do next? It looks like you are going to make some type of decision with the two of wands. What is the strength card in reverse? Listening to your intuition. So again, you're in, you're in, excuse me, your intuition is telling you something about this relationship, this person. It feels like you're fence sitting with them and they're just not giving you the attention. And again, so it looks like you have something else that you can be doing, dating. <clears throat> and again, you're not doing it on purpose, I don't feel, in this relationship. It's not to make them jealous or, it's, it, but it's, let's just keep going. It feels like it changes. Yeah, justice. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like the universe brings in this person. I feel like this person may be a very good match for you, Cancer. This might be someone who would be very loving, loyal kind and considerate fool five of cups but you're sad because again i get that you love this person up here now one thing i was noticing also for some of you ten of cups is the card that will tell me that maybe they have an ex with kids maybe they had to go help them or something like that so the ten of cups initially i read it maybe it was you the two of you but it could always mean another, something else has their attention, Ace of Wands. Something else has come into their life where they're putting all their attention and focus and passion on it. It doesn't mean they love the other person necessarily. It just tells me that, that they have to go take care of something. I have seen that before in readings. And so, but let's keep going. Because 
even though you may go out with someone new, start dating, and maybe this person has even told you, you know, go date other people. Maybe you don't want to. You don't really want to, Five of Cups. All right, what is the Five of Cups? I'm going to do one more for the Five of Cups. Hermit, yeah. You don't really want to go out is what I'm seeing here. All right, what is the Five of Coin, though? Six of Cups, the past. What is the Six of Cups? The world. Okay, one more, please. All right, yeah, this may change. Four of Coins, though, hanging on. All right, and then what is the Seven of Coins? I'm sorry, Seven of Wands. What is the Seven of Wands for Cancer? Temperance, okay. The Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Cups. Walking away. Okay, so again, Five of Coins, I see if you go out and do new things, coming out of the cold. On the one hand, Six of Cups is about the past. The world is a new cycle. Kind of feels like maybe you're thinking about ending the past, ending this other relationship with this person, but yet Four of Coins, to me, is about, you know, clutching. You're clutching on. You're hanging on. You don't want to let go. But it could be within a week's time, Seven of Wands, um, Temperance, you may end up walking away from this original person. You might walk away from this one also, depending on the re on your circumstances, but I'm seeing that even though some of you may be sad about letting a relationship go in time, meeting someone new, you might be able to walk away from the old. What's the four of coins though? Two of swords, yeah, let me see, because this might, this will give us clarity. Ace of swords, something new. Nine of Cups is under the deck. What is the Eight of Cups? What are you walking away from? Six of Wands. Sorry about that. A Six of Wands, a victory was justice. Ten of Wands, the, yeah, the Emperor. Starting something new, Four of Wands, Nine of Coins, Seven of Coins, Four of Swords, not waiting, and Nine of Cups, a wish fulfilled again. Okay. So I know what this spread is telling me, though you may not want to hear this right now. It's about walking away from someone who is not there for you. They're, they're taking you for granted. Um, in fact, I feel like some, for some of you, they're telling you to go maybe go out with somebody new, go date, go out with friends, etc. This person that you're dealing with up here in this first row is coming across as a bit of a burden, Ten of Wands. They may have other burdens also. This might be something else that they just can't help. They have to go take care of other things. But it feels like this is being brought into a new person, Justice, so that you can walk away from something old. It's shown me that if you do date someone new, that you will be happy and this new person will... Showing me Nine of Cups, be something, you know, be wish fulfilled possibly. So let me see an outcome overall. I think initially you won't want to. You will be have a hard time letting go, but I feel like within seven days, a week, maybe seven weeks, um, you will have a new beginning in love with somebody else. All right, let me see another message for Cancer. The outcome, actually, what I want is an outcome. Five of Cups, feeling sad, feeling weighed down. Four of Cups, an offer, judgment. Three of Coins, working together. Okay. Two of Coins, lovers. The Devil in reverse. Eight of Coin, working on that relationship. Page of Cups, and the Three of Wands. What's coming in with the Three of Wands? Let me put it here, though. A new beginning with the Ace of Swords. Nine of Cups, and Hierophant. Okay, Temperance is under there. So either way, I'm seeing you guys actually, okay, so you're feeling sad and weighed down. You get an offer of the Four of Cups. I feel like for some of you, this is the original person coming back in. Three of Coins is about working together. Um, again, Four of Cups is, you know, it's not new love to me. It is, you know, the person coming back in, offering a cup, the same cup. But um, it looks like Three of Coins, they want to work together. Now, Devil's in reverse, so could definitely be something this other person is dropping. I feel like the other person comes to their senses, the original one, that they do love you. And initially, what is the Devil? Justice. Nine of Cups, Nine of Coins, Ten of Coins. Okay. I think I think a lot of you, what I'm seeing here is that a lot of you will have 
two options in the end and you don't realize it now but dating somebody new they brought someone in new and it's not a third party you guys you if you're not dating the first person if they're always gone you're not cheating whatever so it's not third parties and you're not doing it to make them jealous what i'm seeing here is that an opportunity comes in you're dating then you might have choice between both people because it is showing me kind of both sides and it looked like you get to choose so do you want the original person or after a, you know dating the new person a week or so maybe you find out that that is a better start ace of swords this person cherishes you and loves you or is it the original person do they truly love you with the devil here in reverse i'm feeling like you're seeing things clearly you're no longer feeling trapped to the original person like i have to be with them i love them they're my true love they're the only one in the world now you're saying you know what i have other options the universe brought me in somebody to compare them with and i'm seeing how they're treating me so now just as you have an earth sign and a water sign maybe here or one that you know shows more love and one that works because maybe the first person works a lot maybe the ten of cups the ace of wands had something to do with work or business or family something else it doesn't have to be another person so i feel like this is saying you can have it all at ten of coins as the outcome you can choose i mean that the details are going to be different for who's viewing how this is kind of working out for you but you have the two of coins here so it feels it feels like you don't need anyone anymore with the devil you get to choose who do you want and eight of coin working page of cups i do feel like the original person because we have the eight of coins here and we have the five of cups ten of wands. i think this person is willing one they may be dropping something the devil they may be dropping something that was keeping them from spending time with you or something that wasn't good for them they may be willing now, Eight of Coins, to put in the work, Page of Cups. So what's coming in, Three of Wands, is a new beginning. You're happy again, and you have the hair font. But I feel like the whole thing hinges on you going with this new opportunity, this other person. For some of you, maybe it's a group of friends or doing something like that. But I feel like most of you, it is um, an earth sign that's coming in, or maybe it's someone from your job. Maybe that's why the Eight of Coins is here also. So... Yeah, that one yeah this one came flying out keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer expect miraculous solutions to appear kind of like the seven of swords stand up for yourself go after what you want be happy don't sit around and wait for other people no more worrying so you're flying high right now which may threaten others but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example and on the other side because this card flips out i like to see what's on each side when it falls out what do you deserve i'm sorry what you desire right now visualize it and it will come about negativity will block your progress all right so i'm hoping this helps have a really good week you guys and take care